thunderstorms, and what comes with thunderstorms? Lightning. What can the lightning do? Well, it can strike an overhead power line maybe a half mile away from your house or even the lawn right next to your house and come right through your electric meter and down into your house, and there it goes on a search and destroy mission. It starts looking for TVs, VCRs, computers, microwave ovens, anything, any electronic device that's got a little chip in it. Now, how can you stop that from happening? It's easy. You can buy two types of surge protectors, and that's the best way to go. You want to first get a whole house surge protector. These devices attach right next to your electric panel, whether it's in the basement or the garage, and they do a really good job. They come with audible alarms. Uh, they come with little lights that come on that tell you that the thing's working, and they're really fantastic. Then what you want to buy are what we call the point of use surge protectors. Those are the ones that most people are familiar with. Those are the ones that plug in right next to your computer or your television, and they also have lights and alarms to let you know whether or not the device is still working. Now, why do you need to know that? Remember, the surge protectors are a lot like automobile brakes. They wear out. In other words, if you've got a surge protector that's five or ten years old, it may be worn out. So you have to replace them every so often. Remember, surge protecting is really important. And make sure you have a professional install your whole house surge protector. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.